In this video, we're going to set ourselves up to use our fire animations. But first, we need to actually create our weapon class. I'm going to do this because I think it's going to be a lot easier to test animations with the weapon, such as empty reloading, reloading, all that kind of stuff. So I'm just going to do something simple. New C++ class. It's going to be of a type actor. I'd call this one weapon base. Um, I don't see us having any other classes in this tutorial, so I'm just going to create it in the directory. Well, in the anim tutorial order. So then we have weapon base. Wait for it to finish. All right, so we need to have a couple of things. Uh, I'm disabling tick. And we need to include the animation sequence. I'm trying to remember what it was called. It's an animation sequence. Just normal animations. Yeah. So and we have the animation montage. Oh, I'll figure it out. So I need a couple of things. Protected section. Make a view property. Edit anywhere. Let's call this one. This will be our fire animation. You. What in the world is it called? I can't remember what the class is. Oh, it's literally you anim sequence. I don't know why it didn't come up last time. So we're going to forward declare you anim sequence. Fire animation. And include the animation sequence header. Gonna create a public section. Bool fire. And I want to comment on top. Returns true if can if fired false if cannot fire. Then create the definition. So by default for now I'm just gonna return true. So inside of here, I'm just gonna do if fire animation fire animation play see might be able to get an idea of what it's called inside a blueprint all right it's called play animation that's what it is so we need a mesh property edit anywhere a class u skeletal Mesh component, weapon mesh, create default sub object, use skeletal mesh component, this includes skeletal mesh component, And I'm guessing I spelled you wrong. Yeah, whatever. Then if weapon mesh and fire animation, we're going to do weapon mesh play animation fire animation. Looping is false. 
then we can compile. I'm going to return true inside of here. And return false there. So now we have our weapon class created. Let's create a blueprint version inside of weapon. Call this BP underscore weapon base. Set the weapon mesh to 1911. Fire animation to 1911 fire. Right. Now in our character, let's create a T subclass of. Uh, I'll do it here. So U property. Edit anywhere. A T subclass of. Type is going to be class A weapon base. Call it weapon class. Inside of begin play. Let's create a variable for our weapon. IP class a weapon base weapon. So weapon. It's going to be equal to get world, get or spawn actor. Type's going to be a weapon base. Then the class is going to be weapon class. Then if weapon, then we want to go in through and attach it. So I'm just going to copy this like so. Oh, right. Weapon, get mesh, then attach. No? What are you complaining about? Oh, got to include it. Include weapon base.h. On IntelliSense. There we go. Now we have attached to. Like so. So hopefully you should be able to attach it. Print a log. Valid weapon. Right, let's go to our character blueprint. Figure out. Oh, wait, gotta wait for it to compile. That's right. Do, 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 do. There we go. Weapon class, BP weapon base. Compile and save. Right, let's check the log. Valid weapon. Yeah. Uh, it's currently firing a skeleton. Well, I'm just going to comment all this out for now in our fire function. Let's minimize it like so. All right, so we now have our weapon. So on. So now nothing should happen when we fire. And I'm going to confirm. Click that. And this is our weapon base. It's attached to our hands and everything just like it's supposed to. And now I can no longer fire. All right. Now let's go to our weapon base, the header, I mean the constructor. We're going to do root component equals weapon mesh and compile. So that should get rid of that error, which it does. And we're pretty much good to go.
So let's test our fire animation real quick. So if weapon, weapon, fire. We're going to do actually if weapon fire. Then we'll do other stuff. So I'm going to compile. That jumped forward really far. But as you can see, it is playing the animation. So I'll have to fix that in the next video. But we currently have it playing our pistol animation whenever we fire. That's what we wanted. So I'll leave this as a stopping point, and I'll see you in the next one.